Welcome, in front of me is a Realme 8 Pro and today I will show you how to go through the setup process of the device. So when you boot it up for the first time you will be presented with well, this screen right over here. So start off by selecting your desired language. I'm gonna stick with the English so I'm just gonna select next. And choose your region. Uh, I say I don't really care for it so I'm gonna select the first one that I can but you should select your correct one. Next page, uh, Realme Smartphone User Agreement, so basically Terms of Service. Um, you can scroll through this and read exactly what you're agreeing to. And then check the box right here and tap on Next. Then we have some more Terms of Service. Um, so obviously the first one is automatically selected for some reason. Uh, so you can tap on Next and basically agree to it. The two other ones below that are completely optional so you don't have to. Now again, um, you can tap on the blue text right here. It will have the entire uh, thing, the legal document uh, to read, know, to know what you're agreeing to. Um, oops, actually, the one, two, there we go, like that, and let's tap on next. So, uh, once you agree to the terms of service, you will be taken to the Wi Fi connection page, and in here, obviously, you can connect to Wi Fi, assuming you have one that you know the password to. If you don't, you can skip it. Uh, now, by skipping Wi Fi, you will miss out on the date and time being set uh, automatically, and also you won't have the uh, Google account uh, login page. But I'll mention that. Once the setup is complete, you can still add your Google account uh, through settings. So don't worry; it's not a kind of it's not the one one time uh, off thing. You can change it, log out, log in uh, through settings without any problem. So I'm gonna skip this um, now. One thing that Realme does really nicely here is the uh, Wi-Fi assistant. So as you can see, the first option right here. Uh, I'm saying first option because there's two. Once you enable this one, um, is the automatic uh, select. Uh, the best Wi-Fi so um, if you are connected to more than one Wi-Fi it will choose from those uh, for instance two uh, the one that works better the one that is faster and stronger so it's a really nice option to have now once you enable that it will also bring this one up so automatically switch to mobile network so assuming uh, any kind of Wi-Fi that is near you that you can connect to is garbage uh, and it's outperformed by your mobile data, uh, the device will automatically switch to your mobile data. And now, for people that have uh, a decent amount of mobile uh, data to spare, this is a really good option. But for people that are racking like, for instance, a gigabyte to maybe three gigabytes, this might be a little bit hard uh, because sometimes I, the device might switch to it uh, for some reasons and uh, you will start using your mobile data, so this will most likely result uh, in you running out of your mobile data probably before the month ends, so this might cause you some problems in the long run. So if you don't have um, a mobile plan that well, has a decent amount of gigabytes to, to use, I would discourage you from using this one. Now if you have something like 5 gigabytes and up, uh, probably by all means go right ahead and enable it. From there, let's go to the next page where we have Google services. So we have location, scanning, and sending user and diagnostic data. So again, you can tap on the arrow right here, uh, expand uh, what it says here and read it all if you are interested. Um, from there, you can also check it off if you don't want it and then tap on more and accept. Next page, we have uh, protection of, on, of our device. So we have three different ways. Uh, we can have the password, uh, should have been named screen lock. Uh, then we have fingerprint and face recognition. Now these are some uh, basically cut. I, I, I don't know, like they named it kind of weirdly face, like face what. Um, so password uh, is not a password like you are used to. It's uh, screen lock, which includes a password. You can also go with a pin or pattern as well. Um, so you can see. Uh, now by default it's going to go into a PIN instead of a password for some odd reason. But you can tap on uh, use a different password type. Unlocking type would have been probably a better word for this. Uh, but yeah, once you tap on it, as you can see we have uh, four different ones to choose from. So we have pattern, four digit PIN, four to 16 digit PIN, 
and then we have actual password, an alphabetical one. So choose whichever one you want. Uh, I'm gonna go with a pattern. So let's drop, whoops, let me go back because I did mess it up. There we go, that's what I wanted. And let's redraw the pattern and this will automatically set it up. Okay, so normally if you wanted to add additional unlocking methods, you could go back or you could automatically choose either face recognition or a fingerprint and this will force you into uh, also a screen lock. So from there, uh, you'll be taken to the recommended. So the only recommended option here is apparently update uh, overnight, uh, which if you want this, you can enable it. If you don't, just up on next. Now import data is a page where you can uh, grab your old device and import all the data from the old device. So call logs, messages, uh, apps, and stuff like that. Uh, basically, uh, you can move it all to this device. Now I believe uh, the import data on Realme will use their, uh, pro well, not proprietary, but their like speci special apps uh, for this. So you'll probably have to go into App Store on your uh, older device and download the app and then connect with this device to move the data over. But if you're setting it up as new, just as I am, then all you need to do is tap on next and completely disregard that page. From there, get started will now take you to the home screen. So if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.